Hello guys, how are you? Good, good morning. I hope you're okay. I hope you're good in your houses, right? I hope you already ate your breakfast and everything, right? It's good to see you again. And well, since today is Thursday, June, tw June 4th, 2020, right? It's already Thursday. We almost finished this week. So guys, we're gonna, today we're gonna talk about something interesting, something that, um, I wish I could do, right, like for long distances. And today is the road trip. Have you ever been in a road trip? So what is a road trip? The road trip is a un paseo o un viaje pero manejando, right? So you go with your family in the car and then you drive and everything, right? And you have your lunches and, 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 and everything you need to survive. So this is the road trip, right? We're going to talk about this right now. So for that, I would like you to go to your books and open them on books on page 42. There we have the topic, road trip, right? We have listening comprehension activity, warm up. And this is, this is the question that I asked you before. Have you ever been on a road trip? Ustedes han ido a un paso en carretera? What kind of activities do you like to do on a road trip? Sí, sí, ¿qué actividades hicieron? Se llevaron un juego, un uno, la lotería, qué sé yo, qué juegos hicieron, right? And what are the benefits and cons of a road trip? Pues, ¿cuáles son los beneficios y las desventajas de un paseo en carretera? Right? I want you to answer those questions, right? Those are three questions. Have you ever been in a road trip? That is number one. What kind of activities do you like to do on a road trip? And what are the benefits and drawbacks of a road trip? Right? Or like disadvantages. But today, guys, we're going to listen to these people. They are talking and they are telling us about their road trip. Let's listen to the dialogue, then answer the question using what you heard, right? So we're going to listen to the dialogue. This is track number 13. Van a tener el audio también ahí en Classroom. Por si no lo escuchan bien en el video, pueden usarlo ustedes, right? But before we go to the audio and we and before we start working, remember that I need your answers for the question. Díganme, den, den unos consejos. Si yo quiero ir un día, ¿qué actividades puedo hacer? Right? ¿Qué fueron los beneficios y las desventajas de viajar en auto? And let's check these questions, right? It says here, how much longer does Pamela need to drive? Right? So how much longer? ¿Por cuánto tiempo más Pamela necesita manejar? Number two, what is the best place Chris has ever seen? What is the best place that he, Chris, have ever seen? ¿Cuál es el mejor lugar que él ha visto? Number three, how many people kiss the Blarney stone each day? Right, so how many people kiss a stone? Let's say that this is the stone, right? Digamos que este mundito es la piedra. How many people kiss the stone? ¿Cuánta gente besa esta piedra Blarney cada día? ¿Cuánta gente la besa? Number four, when is Pamela's speech? When is Pamela's speech? Speech will be like a presentation, right? That, that he is going, she, I'm sorry, is going to speak in front of a lot of people. That is a speech. But when is it? On Thursday, Friday, Wednesday? Number five, what part of Pamela's body is sore? Sore is like, oh, it hurts. So that is sore. What part of he, her body is sore? That it hurts. ¿Qué parte del cuerpo le duele a Pamela? And number six, what do you think the phrase hang tight means in the context of the dialogue? ¿Tú qué crees que significa esta frase? Hang tight. En el contexto del diálogo, right? So, guys, let's listen to the audio. Please pay attention to it and try to answer the questions, right? Road trip. Listening comprehension. Will you take the wheel? I'm getting a little bit tired. No problem. We can switch the next time we pull over. How much longer do you think that will be? We'll be at the Blarney Castle in just 20 minutes. Okay, I think I can do that. This section of the drive is really beautiful. The cliffs of Moer were really great, but nothing can beat these big green mountains and lakes that we're driving around right now. Wait until you see the giant's causeway. It's the best place I've ever seen. So tell me, are you really going to kiss the Blarney Stone? 
It seems a little dirty. I hear that around 1,100 people kiss it each day. Of course. That's the whole reason to go, isn't it? I guess you're right. Hopefully it makes me more confident for my big speech coming up on August 14th. I have been preparing since May. You'll be great. After this trip, you should feel relaxed. And the Blarney Stone will give you the gift of gab. Tonight at dinner, we'll see if it worked. I'll be relaxed as soon as we switch spots. My ankle is getting sore from all this driving. Yeah, yeah. Look, there's a sign for the turnoff. Blarney Castle, three kilometers. So hang tight, we're almost there. There you go, guys. So you get the phrase. So hang tight, we're almost there. So what is hang tight? Significa esta frase, right? You can search it. I mean, yes. All right, guys. So now you need to answer these questions, right? Please do it. And if you have any doubts, tell me. Send me a text on the classroom platform. So this is going to be the first activity for today. Remember that you will have track 13 in the classroom so you can listen to it again. So we're going to continue. And it is here the last question on this. Which of the following pictures show the kind of scenario the speakers can see on this section of the drive? Use information from the dialogue to help you. So what are they watching, right? What are they seeing? Es que, ¿cuál de estos se asemeja al paisaje que ellos describen en lo que van manejando? Right, que van viendo y manejando. So, which one? This, this, or this? Circle the right one. Okay? To continue, guys, on the road trip topic of today, we have a speaking little activity. It says partner work. You're going to do it by yourself, right? So it says work with a partner. Well, you yourself, I'm sorry. Listen all the things you need to make a successful road trip. What kind of responsibilities are there? For example, you need to think of destinations, divide the driving time, etc. Make a list of all the things that need to be considered and write them in the box. So guys, then here in this activity, what are we going to do? It says here that um, you need to think about this look remember when you go on a road trip oh i'm sorry you cannot see it all completely it is here that uh the agenda you need to make an agenda right una agenda como actividades que voy a hacer durante el viaje introduction rules of the road cuáles van a ser tus reglas dress for success Entonces, tienes que irte vestido cómodo no vas a estar sentado muchas horas en lo que tu papá o tu mamá manejan Individual and team responsibilities, right? You need to give responsibilities like you, you're going to take care of the water and the food. Your brother is going to take care of the music. Your mom is going to take care of your dad because your dad is driving, right? Those are the individual and team responsibilities. Uh, health and safety, somebody needs to check that. Like you need to get uh, your, your things, like if you get hurt, if you get a headache, right? You need to get medicine. Uh, travel tips, you need to get uh, like travel tips and the itinerary. When you get to the place where you're going, you need to know what to do. All right, guys? So let's continue here then. In this little space, you need to write down what are the road trip's responsibilities. What do you think you must consider when you travel on the road? Right? Entonces vamos a ver. Aquí tienes que escribirme qué responsabilidades debemos tener cuando estemos viajando en la carretera. Si te vas de un viaje, a lo mejor, y de aquí hasta Canadá, pero en carretera, ¿qué debes de tener? ¿Qué responsabilidades debe de haber en cada una de las personas que va en el carro contigo? Here, oral expression. Mm, find a way to fairly split the duties on a road trip. Discuss each point and state why you think each person should have each responsibility. Right? So here, uh, we're going to divide this. Uh, it says partners... Number one's responsibilities. In this square, you're going to consider your, um, the one that is driving. Who is driving? ¿Quién, es, quién, ¿Quién va manejando? And the one that is the co-pilot. ¿Y quién es la persona que está de copiloto, right? So the, what is the responsibilities the person that is driving must have? And what are the responsibilities 
of the person that is next to the driver, el que está en el lado de copiloto, qué responsabilidades debe tener. Entonces, el que va manejando, qué responsabilidades debe tomar y qué responsabilidades debe tomar el que va de copiloto al lado del conductor. Right? So, you're going to write here, at least write three on each one. Tres de cada uno, right? Perfect. So, this is going to be really easy for you. And now, guys, that you finish this page and everything right now, that you know what to do when having a road trip, now you know what to, what responsibilities, what kind of games you should take, what kind of medicine, right? We're going to go now to Magical History Tour. A Magical History Tour. Imagine that. Do you think it sounds uh, interesting, boring? I mean, it could be interesting, right? So for this, before we start uh, doing the activity, guys, I have a video that I want you to watch. Look at the places. These places are the ones that this, the story will talk about. Vamos a leer una historia y van a hablar de estos lugares. Look at the so we like to go here. Look how beautiful it is, right? What do you think they do here? What a person. Look. What do you think they do? You can tell me. Look at it. Oh, I know what they do. They are kissing the stone. Remember the story? They are kissing the stone. Ahí es donde ves a esa piedra que está hablando el chico en el audio. Look how beautiful it looks, right? Like a little rocks. But they have like nice shape. Look at it. Like it. They look great. Ampo. Happy to learn. Now that we watch the video, guys, I think it was very interesting, right? The places, they look beautiful and everything. And now we know which rock the man was speaking about. Ya sabemos qué roca estaba hablando el chico cuando decía que él iba a ir a besar esa roca. And here, now we're going to go to the Magical History Tour that it says, activate, activate, I'm sorry, your brain. As a class, write some a list of places you would like to visit, then look at what those places have in common. What are some reasons for wanting to visit a certain place? So here, guys, um, I want you to write here on this space or here what places you would like to visit. What places? Do you know some interesting places like the Grand Canyon, perhaps, you would like to visit? Then it says here, listen to the story and fill in the blanks with the correct missing words. So in this case, guys, I will play the audio. You will need to complete the story with the missing words. Pay attention to the audio and let's try and complete this. A Magical History Tour. Magical History Tour. Ireland is a land of beauty and magic. A drive along the coast will show you rolling green hills and views straight out of Neverland. The Irish love sharing legends of tricky leprechauns, beautiful fairies, and scary goblins. Irish culture is full of magical stories, and each has enough detail to make you start believing too. But it isn't just the folklore of Ireland that is magical. Their tour sites also give visitors a taste of charming Irish magic. Okay guys, so now here we have a question. Check for understanding. What are some ways Ireland might be considered magical? ¿Por qué se le considera mágico? Irlanda, right? So tell me, Greg, here your answer. Why do you think? Let's go to the next page. One of the most famous sites in Ireland is the Blarney Stone. This stone is not just a regular rock. It is a magic rock. Kissing the rock can give you powers. A peck on the Blarney Stone will give you the gift of gab. This means you will be able to speak so well you can convince others to do what you want. This legend is based on a story from long ago. A man had to go to court, but he was afraid he would lose. So before his trial, he kissed the Blarney Stone. He spoke so eloquently, he won his case. 
He knew it was the stone that gave him the power. Another story showing the Blarney Stone's power involves Queen Elizabeth I. She wanted Irish chiefs to work under England. The Lord of Blarney used the gift of gab to keep the Queen happy. But he didn't actually do what she wanted. Many people believed the Lord had kissed the Blarney Stone. Others think he was just a good talker. All right, guys. So now we finish this page number 45. We have two questions here that you need to answer. Question number one. What is the legend of the Blarney Stone? What is the legend? What is the legend? What is the legend in this piedra? ¿Qué dice la leyenda sobre esta piedra? And why do people believe it? ¿Y por qué cree la gente en esta leyenda sobre la piedra? Recuerdan que es la piedra que vas y besas, pero ¿qué es la leyenda? ¿Qué dice? ¿Y por qué la gente cree en ella? Let's go to the next page. The Blarney Stone isn't the only magical place in Ireland. The Giant's Causeway is one of the most popular places to see in Ireland. This rock formation is a stack of tube-like rocks. It sits on the edge of the water. Scientists say a volcanic explosion formed the rock 60 million years ago. Locals tell a different story. There was an Irish giant named Finn McCool. Across the sea was a Scottish giant. His name was Benendonner. He was threatening Ireland. Finn threw chunks of the coast into the water. He wanted to make a pathway to Scotland. He wanted to teach Benendonner a lesson. When he got there, he saw that the Scottish giant was much bigger than him. He was terrified. He ran back to Ireland with the angry giant close behind. Finn's clever wife quickly disguised him as a baby. That was one huge infant. When Benendonner saw baby Finn, he got scared. If the baby was this big, he knew the father must be even bigger. He was so scared he ran out of Ireland. People believe the Giant's Causeway formation was left behind after this giant fight. Local legends make already astonishing places even more exciting to experience. Ireland is full of magical stories. Visitors can have fun learning these legends. Whether or not they believe it is up to them. All right, guys, so this is very interesting, right? I would like now to go to Ireland. Why not? Yes, just because to visit these places, these two places, perhaps to kiss the stone, right? Why not? And to see this, this is, this looks very beautiful, like so beautiful, right? So let's hear, let's see here. And it says that we have another question. Check for understanding. What are two stories about how the giant's causeway was formed? ¿Cuáles fueron las dos historias sobre este camino? ¿Cómo fue formado este camino? Perdón. ¿Qué dos historias se inventan o se cuentan? Right? So tell me, what are the two stories? And the last activity of today, guys, is this. Grammar check. We're going to check. And you need to underline, subrayar, five prepositional phrases on this page. Then share which ones you found with the class. Okay, guys. Here... You need to underline five prepositional phrases. Remember, trabajaron el martes con ellas. Entonces, estas frases son las que empiezan por una preposición. With, for, on, next, right? So, underline. What phrases do you found? And tell me. Subrayenlas con un marca textos rosa, azul, verde, el color que quieran. And, well, guys... Remember, if you have any questions, any doubts, send me a text and tell me, teacher, I don't understand this, and I will try to help you. I will help you. So thank you very much for working. Thank you very much for sending your homeworks. You are very smart. You're very intelligent. And take care. Have a good day. Wash your hands. And I will see you tomorrow, Friday. Remember, at 11 a.m., we have our video call. Take care.